It's Italia, and today my friend Sabrina. Hello, I'm looking at a spider. <laughs> and, <laughs> a spider? It's up there. Okay, um, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so Sabrina and I have come to the city of Kimze, which is in Cholabukdo. Uh, because I am working with the Cholabukdo Center for International Affairs to introduce. Uh, well, kimchi to you. So I thought the first place we should come to is a temple because I just I love temples. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just think they're so pretty and they have so much history. Like the temple that we are at today, um, it was built in 599, like during the Pekje Dynasty, which means it's really, really, really old. And I don't know why. Old things just make me really happy. I feel like I'm part of like a culture or something. I don't know. I'm just like I just get really excited. So. We are sitting, sitting, we're standing here at the entrance. We have so much to explore down that way. So let's, uh, let's go. Oh my goodness, so we made it to like the main area of the temple. Sabrina's over there. Um, but I realized I never actually said the name of the temple, which is Kumsansa. <laughs> Kumsansa, yes. Oh my gosh, I was like, yes, it was built in 599. But I didn't actually tell you the name, like, Natalia, what the heck. But like so far, like from what we've seen, it's really, really pretty. And there's a lot of people here like, like Korean people here looking around. I'm not sure if they're Buddhists themselves because it doesn't look like many of them are actually here for prayer, maybe just here to look around, but it's really nice. And there are actually quite a few like cafes as part of like the temple, which is also nice. So if you want to come here, they have coffee. How was it? Smells like cardboard. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> I had such high expectations. I want to smell. I want to smell the cardboard. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like anything. It's a wet down. Sad. It's a wet down. It's pretty though. Like an old 
Which one is yours? The little baby one? Yeah, cute. Sabrina, what are the uh, rock statues for? Wishes. 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 I was like, not statues. What do we call them? Piles. Oh my goodness. Oh, please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay. Uh, come on, this would be the perfect one. Huh? No, this one is Oh, 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 oh yes. you did it. Seven. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished up at the temple. It was nice, it was pretty, and we forgot to get a selfie together the whole time. We got some good ones up here. At the end, you know, we were like, it was literally us being like. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you didn't just see like up my nose, but um, yeah, so right now we are heading down the mountain. Ooh. Down the mountain. Cause there is an aesthetic cafe that's like on a lake that I'd like to get to, but it's like, I think we need to walk straight, but it's like a 48 minute walk <laughs> or like a 32 minute public transit ride. But it's one of those green buses, meaning neighbor never knows when it's coming. So we're gonna like chance it because we're in an area that doesn't really, I don't think really has taxis. Our whole like almost hour long ride here, we saw no taxis. So wish us luck. Okay, we survived. We were able to take the bus, which was a little confusing. It was like you only tap once and it doesn't announce the stops or make any stops. You have to like press the button and then he'll stop. So make sure, like if you're gonna go and take public transit, keep an eye on neighbor and as your dot approaches where you're supposed to get off, press. click the stop button. Like he would have totally gone. Like he didn't even, there's yeah. a bus stop over here. He completely didn't even go to it. He's like, keep on going. Yeah, he was like, nope, we're gonna keep going. He's like, oh, okay. But um, we're currently walking to the cafe and I don't know what's going on here with like this Buddhist, I guess it's like a school or something because it doesn't look like a temple. Oh my God. It looks like an institution, but it looks really nice. Ah, the sun. So pretty. And then the lake is on this side. Ooh. Oh my goodness, so we made it. We found it. Ooh. So my friend Jihoon found this cafe. When I told him that I had like a sponsorship out here, he was like, oh, we have to find an aesthetic cafe. And so he looked up like all these blogs and he was like, how about this one? And I was like, okay Jihoon, that sounds great. So it looks nice. And there's a puppy. You can't see him from here, but there's a puppy up there. Can we order here? He's so cute. I think so, I think we order down here, oh. but it's like, a giant building so I don't know how many vlogs you guys have seen from creators that like tend to travel outside of Seoul or Busan but like the further out from like a metropolitan area you go the bigger the cafes get like this one's like it's pretty it's huge <laughs> it's so big it's like three areas oh can I get your face for the blonde puppy hi I tell myself 
Hi, hello. So we made it into the cafe as you could have probably uh, have assumed and we got a little room. Sabrina, the foods. Um, there are so many nice places to sit here at this like cafe, specifically like outside places, but one, we were hot. And two, we wanted an outlet to charge our devices. Whoa, just pulled that out of the wall. It's fine. Um, so we're gonna sit inside for a little bit, enjoy our food. I got an ice cream. There's some ice cream. Oh, Sabrina, what'd you get? Uh, I got this croissant that's like stuffed with strawberries <laughs> and cream. That was a and horrible then... view. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's gonna fall over. Oh, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Kokuma latte. Yeah, kokuma latte. I'm judging you for that. Thanks. <laughs> and I got a mocha latte. Like, I thought they had vanilla ice cream, and then they told me they only had chocolate. And I was like, well, okay, that's fine. But as you can probably tell, it's already melting, so I'm gonna quickly eat it. Update time. So we have clearly left the cafe and oh my goodness, we had such an issue trying to get a taxi. So my thought was, if we can't get a cacao taxi at the cafe, we can just ask the staff to call us a taxi. Cause I've had to do that before. And this time the staff was like, no, there are no call taxis. There's only cacao taxi here. You're just gonna have to keep trying. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I thought we were gonna have to take public transportation for like over two hours. But Sabrina just kept trying and got us a taxi after like what, 20 minutes? <laughs> 20 minutes or something. So um, if you come to Gimde, I highly encourage you to either have a car uh, or plan out to take like plan out some time to take public transportation because it takes a while to get places. Like I think everything is over an hour from where we're staying. But I don't hold Hi, hello, happy next day. So Sabrina, bleh, Sabrina and I have come to Pyokkorte, which is said to be the oldest uh, reservoir in Korea. So according to the records, it was built either during the Pekche or the Shila dynasty. Apparently the academics can't agree, but they can agree that it has been modified multiple times. Um, so right now, I think I read that there was only like three kilometers left of the actual like embankment of the reservoir, but Gimje has really turned it into a park, which we are going to explore. There are supposed to be some very big dragon statues that we are quite excited about, so let's go and uh, explore. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. Ah, I like how I get the start on the floor. <laughs> Doesn't look the same no more. Cause the sun has made it pale. I used to have it hanging on my wall. Step some on that? Time ago. I'm just here to play with you. Oh no. Picture I'm kind of scared. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Standing by that window, playing your guitar. And if I Hello, we already stopped for slushies. What flavor? Pineapple. 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 <laughs> Does it taste good? I haven't tried mine yet. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. It's not like slushy machine, but it's good. Oh, it does. It tastes like legit pineapple. Mm, it's not bad. A picture of you. You know what these taste like? Mexican like popsicles. Mmm, the paletas? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's so nice here. And I remember every day that I spent oh, with no. you. <laughs> the look you had upon your face when I said goodbye. I don't know why I let you go, but I was young and dumb. And all that I have left from that time is a picture of. So um, we're walking the, what do we call this an emba embankment? Embankment. Irrigation? Embankment? Maybe. I'm not too sure. I'm not a very agricultural person. <laughs> I am, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're walking and Sabrina, you want to tell everyone what your major was? Entomology. Meaning? The study of insects. Yeah, so <laughs> Sabrina's looking for bugs. <laughs> I want to take a beetle home so he can be my friend. She wants to find a beetle. And Nur <laughs> Nurungji can look at him. Nurungji is her cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, but literally Sabrina was like, if I were a beetle, where would I put him? <laughs> like if I found one, where would I keep him? You know, I can put him in my purse or he'd probably be very angry about that. Yeah, I think so. I think he might <laughs> find him dead. <laughs> Sabrina <laughs> tried to like pet one of these little red bugs and she killed it. Don't say that. I'm, I'm a murderer. You're a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my goodness. Look. Look. Oh my Oi. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the screen because I was trying to get Sabrina in it, but. Sorry. No, you're good. <sighs> but uh, oh my gosh, there's all these cute little like monitos around with big heads, and they're so cute. I said that already, but like they're hilarious. I like them a lot. Guys, look at how big these dragons are. Oh my gosh. Sabrina, go stand there so you can, for scale. Look. <laughs> oh my, no, you're good. Oh my gosh. So big. Sabrina and I have made it back to the bus terminal because, oh my gosh, okay, so we had plans for today. We were gonna go to a museum and a really cool like treehouse cafe, but uh, we ran out of time <laughs> and we don't wanna end up having to leave for so like seven or eight in the evening tonight, so yes. But um, if I didn't say this earlier in the video, Solabukto is known for like agriculture, specifically Kimze is known for agriculture, so there are a lot of farms where you can like pick strawberries or pick grapes which is something that we wanted to do but apparently like the places we called were not offering those uh experiences is what they call them uh this weekend so unfortunately we were not able to try that out but um i will link a few strawberry farms a few uh grape farms as well as that treehouse cafe that we didn't get to go to in the description box for you so if you come to gimje you can like contact those places and like check them out for yourselves. I don't know, tag me if you go, because I would like to see. But um, thank you again to Chola Bukto's Center for International Affairs for inviting uh, me and my friend here uh, out to Kinze. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys in Seoul. So, tell me bye you guys. Bye. <laughs>